Look, here is written 0031, but here is 2331. Did Gemini make a mistake on this UA777? Don't want to wait? Go straight and check it out at the third minute. I rate this Gemini UA777 300ER in 10 categories. This model comes with Gemini's standard black box design, with a void to let you have a glimpse of the model inside. The form and the transparent cover offer very good protection to the model. I'll give it a 9. This 777 comes with magnetic landing gear and a display stand. The gear door covers are very well made. All the door covers can sit into the slot perfectly. The plane looks very great in cruising mode on the stand. I'll give it a 9. This Gemini 777 mode is very good. You simply can't find any obvious flaws. The curves on the nose look very realistic. The shape of the wings and the extended wingtips are very good looking. The tail and the vertical stabilizer look exactly like the real things. I'll give a 9. This pair of GE90 engines are very realistic. The fan blades are spinnable. It has a see-through core and comes with the correct engine pylons. They are in good shape and in scale. I'll give 9. The wings and the horizontal stabilizers are very well attached. The two engines are well aligned and have very good ground clearance. The seam between the vertical stabilizer and the fuselage is almost invisible. I'll give a 9. It's easy to put on the gears. The gear legs and joints are indeed very well made. The wheel hubs are really detailed. The main gears can tilt and be capped in a very good looking landing tilt position. I'll give a 9. The major aerials and navigation lights are well made by inserted parts. All the cargo doors are accurately printed. It has inserted jams on a no-scale leg. So why are there two different call signs on this model? When this first 77W was delivered to UA from Boeing, it was in the midst of UA's fleet numbering restructuring. So it was written the original number 0031 on the no scale door, whereas the newly assigned 2331 was used as the aircraft's registration number. The real plane indeed carried two different numbers during delivery. Gemini did not make any mistakes here, yet there are still some other issues. The ADF detainers and the small SATCOM were only printed. The markings around the SATCOM are overdone. The APU exhaust color is not realistic enough. The landing lights on the wings are only printed. And to our surprise, the Gemini has forgotten to print the overwing exits here. So I will only give a 7. All the titles and logos positions, sizes, and typefaces are correct. The Gemini released this model too early, so that it has missed some of the delivery features added by UA after the plane enters service, including the plane's name, New Spirit of United here, and the tiny United logo in blue right next to L1 and L2 doors. We can say Gemini only managed to recreate delivery upon delivery by Boeing, I'll give an 8. The coloring of UA's white, blue, gold, and gray are very sharp and precise. The gray color on the wings and horizontal stabilizers are also very realistic. I'll give painting a 9.
Actually, Gemini's competitor, InFlight 200, also released its UA model in 2017. It comes with all the missing livery and printing elements that we found on this Gemini. However, I see this one a historic UA play, and as a matter of fact, it did first come with two different call signs. This make it special. I'll give it an 8 for value. I'll give this UA777 a total of 86 points in my Eric Index. Were you bothered by the missing name and markings on this model? Leave a message to let us know. See you next time.